Hi there, my name is Jake DC, and I suffer from bipolar disorder, I'm specifically bipolar 1. Um, I decided I wanted to make some videos or vlogs essentially talking about my feelings about bipolar disorder because I really couldn't find uh, much uh, on YouTube or really online in at least a video format. Um, I'm not a professional or anything like that, so if I give any type of advice, take it with a grain of salt. And um, But yeah, and I also wanted to make these videos uh, not so much for anyone but for myself uh, to hold myself accountable. Um, I have certain goals that I'm trying to achieve uh, that I really keep putting off. And uh, after I had a recent uh, complete meltdown when I was manic, I haven't really been able to recover since then, so these videos are also going to be a progress bar. You're, you're going to see about one a week. I'm hoping to get them done on Sundays, because um, that's when I'll be kind of tallying everything up to see if I did everything right. And I'm hoping that I can kind of use these videos to hold me accountable, but also to discuss topics about bipolar disorder, something I think is really, really lacking. Um, I'm a huge fan of the bipolar disorder Reddit. I'll have a link for that in the uh, description. The Bipolar Reddit is uh, fantastic. It's a great place to find other people who are also suffering and who are also going through a, a lot. Or, or maybe they're giving advice and things like that. It's a wonderful, wonderful subreddit to go into, so I recommend doing that. These videos aren't going to be structured at all. There's going to be a lot of, like, pauses, uh, ums, and oohs. Um, basically, it's, it's really going to be rattling at the top of my head. And um, hopefully you can get something out of this, or hopefully... Um, maybe you can relate or you don't um, please comment I, I really uh, emphasis that if you watch this video please comment uh, so I guess what I wanted to talk about was uh, was mania in general right? I, that, that's kind of a topic that be, that be, could be covered uh, in a lot of different videos but um, the mania I'm talking about is, is basically mania crashes where you're really feeling high and crazy and uh, and you go to like the nth level, right? And uh, I had a manic breakdown uh, in, in July, and uh, I guess it was uh, to to be fair, it was fueled by Vyvanse, which is Vyvanse is just kind of a, a different form of Adderall, and the Vyvanse influenced my manic phases and induced them and, and made them so much worse. But I did I was so manic. <laughs> <laughs> for weeks and I just didn't I just didn't care I was so high on everything I I um, took out credit cards and made huge purchases on stuff I will never probably use uh, but I have them now because of how much I was crazy and I eventually ended up getting hospitalized and um, a couple days ago I was just kind of thinking to myself I really haven't been myself since then I don't really go out to parties anymore or, or, or uh, go out to the bars in general. Um, I tend to not uh, do what I used to love. I used to love playing video games. I'm a huge gamer. And uh, I feel like that part of me is, is almost gone. Uh, I, I, I've tried so hard to kind of get back into gaming because it was a very big stress relief for me. And it was a very uh, it was a great way to socialize with my friends. But I just don't feel that fun that I used to. And I want to know if anyone else out there has, has felt that after having like a manic episode of that level. Or, or even in general, just kind of this loss of love um, that I really feel is influenced by my, my, by, my, my bipolar depression. Um, it's only recently that I've really been able to kind of get back into it because I, I have been on a drug called lithium. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. And lithium... Um, actually does a great job of suppressing the the manic phases very very well uh but now i because i'm not getting those manic phases i'm i'm not getting that big burst of energy and the big uh feeling of, of the power and, and things like that uh and it's really difficult it's really hard to know exactly if it's just the depression that's kind of making me not want to go out and game or is it uh is it just basically a normal shift in personality over time it's so hard and it's so frustrating to to not know the direct answer not be able to just say okay it's, it's bipolar disorder because i i really don't know if it is now i've kind of 
gone off on like a bunch of different subjects, and I'm not even sure where the fuck I started. <laughs> uh, but in any case, uh, how do you guys feel about that? The the idea that after having a hypermanic crash, you're really just out of the game, and I, I think that that's you know normal because you know you're hypermanic and you have a massive massive crash you make an ass of yourself embarrass yourself in front of your friends um i should really do just a video of just talking about my fucking hypermanic craziness and how uh it's really I, I have really really great friends really great friends i'm so blessed to have the people that i do in my life because the people that i have in my life have seen me multiple times at this crazy low and and being suicidal and things like that and uh, I'm so blessed to have them, um, but after what they've seen, you know, it's it's kind of hard to to go back to to be the Jake that that everyone knows, and uh, so I, I really want to know about. I guess you could say it's like, do you do you feel like after a hypermatic phase, that there's a bit of a loss of identity? Um, we'll go into that more in another video. The, the idea of the loss of identity because if you, you don't know who you are because of the bipolar. So that's where I want to end it uh, today. It, it basically is kind of ending on that question. Um, and if you like this video, please like it. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I know it's stupid to beg for it, but um, it really will help me. And I'm hoping, once again, if you need help, if you are, are scared or hurt, or want to talk, just talk about bipolar disorder, um, that you can be part of this community. Uh, I want to thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great day.